Okay, so two videos in one day, maybe. We have half of our fleet of zero turns down. This one broke a spindle shaft and my son said he's having trouble getting it out, but I don't see the problem. So I'm here to help him and hopefully we'll get this fixed pretty quick. I don't know which one's broken. There's three spindle shafts under there. I don't know where the new one is, but this is a big problem because we don't attack our lawns like normal companies. Normally there's one, but one person drives zero turn, one will do weed whacking and trimming, one will do whatever. We like to do two zero turns two weed whacking, like everybody does a little bit of everything and we just, we get them done so much quicker. That, that just works for us because we have that. So now with our help that we have, um, it just doesn't work. One zero turn, the weed, it, it just doesn't work. So we got to get this fixed. By the way, this is a Simplicity Courier. I don't know where it is. It's got this little dump buddy on the back, it's pretty cool. It collects a bunch of stuff for us. We got extra blades for it, so now that my son's usually in charge of uh, the blade sharpening, we change them out about once every two weeks. There's a bunch of stuff in here that we probably don't need. But it's nice to have that little back on there. Uh, and these are really nice. This thing rides nice because of those shocks. Uh, we have a little bit of engineering there with that bungee cord. One of the pulleys on the bottom there uh, with the drive system isn't working either. We got to get this fixed. We want to do it in the off season. So for now, with that bungee on there, it gives enough tension to where um, the drive works too. Like we're, we're really... Really just kind of going by the seat of our pants right now. So with this breaking down, it's really not a good thing. We gotta get this fixed. Let's see what we can do. Hold on, take that off for a second. Look at that. Brand new. So we had to use a pipe wrench. The uh, pulley was spinning. But it's pretty awesome that it was on this side. We didn't even have to take the deck off. Just needed two two hands. You need somebody to hold the pipe wrench or somebody to twist the uh, twist the nut off there. We almost were going to cut it off with the saws while and take our chances, but I'm glad we didn't. So now we're going to put the pulley back on, and uh, hopefully I can take a picture of Alex cutting grass here in about ten minutes. It'd be really cool. So our equipment's. <laughs> All breaking down, but we're getting a fix. And like I said before, this is terrible for a small company. So we can get this back up and running. It's going to be huge. So, so far, so good. New spindles installed. we got to put the pulley on, put the belt back on, and put the blade on. I'll let you know how it goes. Don't forget to uh, smash up that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks. All right, so this wasn't too bad of a fix. Uh, we got that back on there. Did damage the pulley a little bit with a pair of vice grips. Uh, but the spindle went back on, the blade's on, and I want to take a picture of it mowing, but I got another pressing call, so. But for this one, all we got to do is put that cover back on there to protect the pulley, and this one's done. I think we can be back in business for this week, which is really cool. So, two problems averted this week. I like that. Boom, smash up that like button. Thumbs up. Smash it up. What's the problem? Sounds like a blade. Yeah, so we almost had it fixed. Didn't kick off, so we're heading in the right direction. 
little bit more work to do. Alright, so as he said, uh, he had to leave, so I went and I tried to figure out what was going wrong with it. I actually took the other guard off on the other side. This is the side we just fixed. So we thought the problem was over on that side. We thought uh, the blade might be hitting, and it turns out it was actually the center blade. Um, I did hammer in this little section here because I thought it was hitting there, and then realized where it's hitting is actually right back there so you can see where it's scraped so all I did was take a pair of vice grips and bend that metal back a little bit over there and now it's clearing it so I'm getting there a little bit better so it's not scraping it anymore literally just a few millimeters was causing it to make that loud noise I did do a few cuts with it already and it seems to be cutting really well these are new blades i think that's another part of the problem the other blades that were on here were disgusting just to show you those other blades this is what they looked like now they're already small thin blades to begin with but they were getting down there in size you can see the width that they probably were originally it's what they dwindled down to at the edge so we needed to put new blades on and I think that that just led us to a couple new problems like we said. There must have been an issue with the spindle that led us to thinking that it was cutting poorly. Bought new blades, wasn't the problem. Found a new problem, fixed the spindle, wasn't the problem. Now the other issue was the blade was too long that it was hitting down there. So I think we're all up good and running. Let me go uh, do another run here with this and we'll see. Oh, I did take this cap off just to see down in there a little bit better, but there, put that back on, it'll be all fine.